Here we have an Amana APH 1536 I installed a few months ago. And I came back to this job because it wasn't keeping up with the heating demand on very cold days. And I found out a very sad fact and I'll open it up and show you what I found. As you see we have the inside of our package unit. The heat kit is actually inside of here. There's knockout for breakers. Uh, there's no breakers on this particular heat kit. But as you can see we have one wire coming in from that. 80 amp breaker number two to this contactor and they've wedged the wires into the contactor because there wasn't any single point connection now the reason why there wasn't any is because it was never dictated there would be one so instead of changing how they were wiring the unit they decided just to wire up the contactor and be done with it and leave no wire to the secondary heat so I'm here to install single point connection SBK 40 so we can then wire up the heating elements so this thing will work properly. What I do is I take the heater doors off. You see the heaters inside there. There's two screws on the blower housing you take off and you'll mount this box, single point connection box, via those two screws. I've taken the wiring off of the contactor, our main unit feeder. What I'm doing is I'm going back and I've loosened up our uh, Siltac fitting there so I can cut it back a little bit because we have to get a little bit of extra to make it down to the single point lugs here. That's where our main connections come in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that then we can hook those up. Our main wiring is off of the contactor now. I took it out of the hole it came through. I shortened this length of conduit by about 12 inches so I had enough wire. Passed it through behind the control board back around down here. And right now I'm tightening them to the lugs with a T-handled driver here. And you can see them coming into the top there. I'm going to, to put both of those on and we'll go ahead and route the other wires where they need to go. The next step we take is there is a breaker inside of the single point connection kit. This one's a 40, that's why it's called an SPK 40. There's two wires at the bottom, black and purple. You run them up through into the control center and they go to the contact and your green goes to the ground. As you see on the bottom of our lugs, originally we had two wires coming from the middle lug here. Two wires coming from the far right lug. Now these two on the front are the ones going to the contactor, but there was two on the back, but now there's one on each side. The reason why there's one on each side now is because I removed two of them because I have a 10 kW heater. If I had something larger, like a 15 or 20, there'd be multiple breakers because those would be breakered and I'd have to wire each one of those separately. But on the 10 kW there's just the L1 and L2 single point connection. That's pretty much it. I'm going to dress everything back up. We'll put it back together. We are looking at the finished product here. Got some wire ties on it. Tucked back a little bit there. Got some low voltage wires here. Some of them going to the variable speed motor. Some of them going to the heater. Everything's tied up real nice. Put in place. I tie that one back a little bit farther. A little bit ready to fire this thing up. The breaker is flipped on. I'm going to turn on the main breaker and then put it into emergency heat. As you see, we have our almost 40 amps. Our heater is running properly. We'll go ahead and set the heat pump up so it'll run again. We're in emergency heat right now. But it looks like we have a happy heater and everything is solved here. 